This is the video for G-Code project number two. This is the nameplate. As you can see, I have my piece of stock loaded in the machine. It's two inches wide and approximately 12 inches long. So it's a shade longer than I need, but it's easy to cut the end off at the end. Um, and then I can make sure it actually is symmetrical on side to side. Now, what I do want to point out is right now my cutter is at zero for my x-axis. It's at zero for my y-axis as well. Uh, because it's hovering exactly over this corner here. Now I am one inch above this part because I'm going to uh, uh, run this program to make sure that there's no errors or potential crashes that would break at minimum my part, my cutter, and, um, and it gives me the opportunity to check for errors. So I'm going to watch it and see what happens. Okay, so right now it's cutting the D. That looked good. It's going to jump over to the next layer, my O. Uh, I'm watching it very carefully to make sure that I didn't miss a uh, decimal point, a zero, something that would fundamentally cause an error. Everything looks pretty good. The feed's very steady. It's spelling my name out in there. This looks pretty good. Now notice my spindle's off, my vacuum's off. I'm not worried about any of that. I'm just worried about the program. This is how we proof the program before we actually run it on the machine. Perfect, that looked really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to install my dust collection. I am going to uh, reset my Z so that it knows um, where my actual Z is. I, I was one inch high, so it's really easy for me to go into my controller and take that one inch out. Um, then I'm going to turn on my spindle and cut it, and you will see the final results. Uh, with my dust collector, you can't see the bit, right? It shrouds the whole thing. But I will post a picture of this uh, on the front of this assignment so you can see that example.